Stanford University. This study is about aging and financial decision making. Uh, we know something about aging and memory, but we don't know as much about aging and financial decision making. And we know even less about how the brain is involved over time as people age in financial decision making. And what we see is that the older people in our study are taking more risks uh, when they shouldn't. So they're taking risks when they probably should either be avoiding risk or they should be taking another risk that's sort of a, a better deal. And we could see what was happening in their brain before they made these decisions. And we were able to find that in a specific region of older people's brains, it's called the nucleus accumbens, it's deep in your brain, um, there was more signal variability or noise in that region when they were making these decisions. And that could account for individual differences in taking these risks. And we think that the neurotransmitter dopamine is involved. Uh, so one story about aging is that your dopamine function goes down as you age. And that doesn't seem to be the case exactly in this study. It seems that there's still activity in this region, but it's just less predictable. And because it's less predictable, we think, uh, that leads people to make uh, more random choices when they're taking financial risks. Well, we all make lousy decisions. <laughs> and uh, we don't know a whole lot about how aging affects decision making, especially in the financial realm. And this is becoming increasingly important because, as you know, the global population is aging. Uh, and so the financial decisions that people make as they age are going to become an increasingly uh, important aspect of the economy. The takeaway message is uh, financial decision making may be influenced by aging. And part of it may have to do not only with declines in memory, which we've uh, documented with aging, uh, but actually with changes in how we evaluate what's around us. Uh, and this is what we're able to establish using brain imaging in this study. This isn't about older people making more mistakes. This is really about how different people make different decisions and how can we remedy that. Because I think that's an important implication of what we're doing. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.